Hello friends, welcome back. In one of my previous tutorials, I had explained how to automate Chrome browser using Selenium VBA and Excel macros. In that tutorial, uh, there was one thing like we had to regularly update the Chrome driver based on the version of the current Chrome browser. So that was a bit tedious. In this tutorial, I would be explaining you one technique with the help of which you will no need to update the Chrome driver so for the people who have not seen my previous video where i had explained how to automate chrome browser using excel macros i would request you to please go through that video because that video has all the prerequisite steps to set up the selenium vba with the excel macros the link to that video tutorial has been provided in the description section of this video the prerequisite steps involves Downloading this Selenium Basic library, you have to come onto this link and click on this option, Selenium Basic 2.0.9.0.exe. You have to download it and install it. Downloading and install is very simple. Once you have successfully downloaded and installed it, you will get this kind of a folder where you will have the entire setup. And if you will carefully observe, there is one file called Chrome Driver. This is an executable file. And this was the file which we need to regularly regularly update as and when the Chrome, Chrome browser updates. So the technique which I'll be explaining you, you will no need to come over here again and again whenever the Chrome browser updates and change the Chrome Driver file. So now let's move to the interesting part where we will see the steps which we need to take to avoid the Chrome Driver updates. So you need to come to this website. This is the official website from where we could download the Chrome drivers. And you have to click on this link, Chrome for testing availability dashboard. So this kind of a page will come up. You have to click on the stable version and you will see this page coming up. On this web page, in the stable section, we need to download two things. One is the Chrome browser. If you see the binary column, the first few uh, rows show Chrome. So this, these are the links on the right hand side. These are the links for the Chrome browser. If you scroll down, uh, you could see Chrome driver and these are the corresponding links for the Chrome driver. So now I'm using Windows. So I'll go to this link. And if I just copy this link and open it, uh, it in a new tab, it will download a zip file. So I am downloading Win64 Chrome browser. Similarly, if you just scroll down, there is another link for Win64 Chrome driver. So I'll copy this link and just paste it in another new tab. Once these two zip files have been downloaded, you would see these kind of zip files like Chrome driver, Win64 and Chrome Win64. So these two zip files need to be extracted. Once you extract it, now see one, one by one. So within the Chrome Win64, if I go within that, you could see this is the Chrome browser. So this is not a regular Chrome browser. This is just for the automation purpose. If I open it, you will see this is the Chrome browser and it is for Chrome for testing and it is showing the version. And if you're using for regular browsing, you could use the standard Chrome browser, which is already there on your system. So at this point, we have the Chrome browser for testing available with us. I will close it. And now I will move back to this folder where I have the Chrome driver. So uh, using the second link on the previous website, uh, we down when we download it and unzip, the file will get this kind of a Chrome driver. What you have to do it at this point is like copy this Chrome driver.exe file and paste it at the location where we have the Selenium basic installed. So once you do that, now the Chrome browser is in sync with the Chrome driver. Remember it is the testing mode Chrome browser, which is in sync with this Chrome driver. The testing mode Chrome browser will not update automatically. So you will not need to update the Chrome driver at this location again and again. So until and unless you forcefully download and install a newer version of the testing Chrome browser, you will not need to update this Chrome driver. I have done all the setups which are needed to not uh, regularly update the Chrome driver. Now let's move on to the last part where we update the VBA script so that it points to the testing mode of the Chrome browser and not to the regular Chrome browser. That is very easy. So this is my VBA code and the simple VBA code is launching the Chrome browser and navigating to, to this website. But before launching, uh, before launching the Chrome browser, we have to just include this line of code, which says 
whatever object you have created for the web driver dot set binary and you, here you should provide the path of the testing mode chrome browser in my case the testing mode chrome browser is located at this location i'll just copy this path paste it over here towards the end make sure you have a slash chrome.exe also included and now this is pointing to the testing mode chrome browser and once we execute the script uh, let me just update the url i have made a mistake over here okay now i execute the script it should not invoke a regular chrome browser it should open the testing mode and now you could see that it had launched the chrome browser and this is the chrome browser which you could see chrome for testing so it is not using the regular chrome browser it is using the testing mode chrome browser and the testing mode chrome browser will not automatically update itself so you will not have to regularly update the chrome driver in the selenium basic uh, location so i hope you found this tutorial helpful for a complete setup of the selenium vba with excel i recommend you to check the video tutorial which i had created previously the link to that tutorial has been provided in the description section of this video please go through it and everything would be flawless i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos i would be uploading guys thanks for joining i'll see you soon